Alex Quadros joining us live from Sao Paulo. Uh, Alex, he really is quite an unusual figure. So what makes him so different here as a billionaire? Uh, well, for one thing, the fact that he's incredibly discreet and incredibly low profile. Uh, when you consider the size of the deals that he's doing and how much he's been able to hide himself from the public eye, that's pretty incredible. Uh, the other thing that's pretty impressive about him is that along the way over these past three decades that he's been building this empire, uh, he... Um, pursued a professional tennis career. Uh, he's a five-time uh, Brazilian national tennis champ. He played in Wimbledon. He played in the Davis Cup twice. And he was doing a lot of this while he was building his investment bank, which is where he got his start in Brazil. Wow. Uh, he was also a surfer. And uh, he <laughs> once, uh, when he was giving a speech to a group of Brazilian high school students, he talked about uh, taking a 30-foot wave in Rio and how that experience of risk taking taught him a lot more about business than anything he learned at uh, Harvard where he went to school. Very interesting. All right. And Alex, you know, we mentioned and we highlighted this big deal he did for Heinz with, uh, with Warren Buffett. How do they know each other? What do you know about the history between the two? Uh, well, <clears throat> they know each other from the board of Gillette, uh, the razor manufacturer. Uh, Lehman started buying shares in Gillette in uh, the late 1990s and won a seat on the board. And Buffett had invested sex, uh, excuse me, $600 million in the company in 1989. So they first met each other on the board. Uh, and I spoke to uh, the former chairman and CEO of Gillette, who says that they had very similar boardroom styles. They weren't big talkers. They were big listeners. And uh, they had a, both an amazing talent to sort of synthesize the ideas that everyone was throwing around. Well, listening is a very big key to success. Alex, thank you. Alex Quadros of Bloomberg News in Sao Paulo. And you can read more on the latest issue of Bloomberg Business Week on newsstands and your iPad tomorrow.